Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Thanks so much for joining us to listen to the A Midlife Traveler podcast. We are in the middle of season one. We're recording a series on on Scotland. And through this, we're sharing the voice and the opinions in the mind of a Scotsman named James, and also sharing some of my personal experiences there. And we have a couple of episodes here that are about the kilt, about the Scottish kilt and men wearing kilts. And this particular one happens to be about the perennial question that many Americans seem to have, which is, hey, what is what do they wear under their kilts? And I find it kind of interesting, the American fascination that we have about a man and, and a kilt and what he chooses to wear under it. And the reason I find it fascinating is I hadn't thought about it before, but one of the first topics that I got asked about when I returned home from my trip to Scotland was kilts. And in particular, I was asked, what what do they wear under them? So to satisfy your curiosity, I'm giving you two very different replies from two authentic Scotsmen. I will tell you about the first one. And then the second one, you're just going to have to hear for yourself because it is James and he's sharing it in his own voice. So the first Scotsman reply that I have is a man named Sean, who is a friend of the family. And he is a Scotsman who married an American woman and now lives in the United States. And he works in the fire rescue industry and knows my husband through that. And they've been occasionally known maybe to go to a pub for a couple of drinks. And on one such occasion, I think it was after a trade show or something, a group of firefighters and guys were in a bar and sharing beer, sharing stories. And eventually the question of the kilt came up. And so Sean's reply to, hey, what do you wear under your kilt, really earned a laugh from the guys. But at the same time, he really insinuated, hey, mind your own damn business. So what was Sean's reply in a bar to a guy who asked what he wears under his kilt? He said, your wife's lipstick. Now that's a pretty good reply and earned a laugh from the guys, but uh, (laughs) it it might not be the most accurate daily thing that a Scotsman wears under his kilt. So what I have next is a second reply, and this is recorded while I was in Scotland. So James is a Highlander. Uh, who grew up wearing the kilt as a normal part of his life because he grew up in the outer Hebrides Islands, the remote island highland area. And today he still wears a kilt on occasions. Uh, Yes, he wears it when he's leading and guiding tours, but he also still wears it on other occasions as well. So after he shared a really cool story about the history of the Scottish kilt, a minute or two of silence passed and and someone else said, Hey, what do you guys wear under your kilts? Is it underwear? And James's reply to this question was really a more politically correct way of reminding us foreign tourists to just mind our own business. And here's the reply in his words. It's just so much better hearing the explanation through his, his voice. So here's James answering the question. What does a Scotsman wear under a kilt? The original Scots didn't choose to wear or not wear underwear. It hadn't been invented. And trust me, if it had been invented, they would have chose to wear it. This kilt is made from Harris Tweet. It's very, very aggressive on your skin. So trust me, if given the option, you would wear underwear. Um, but, but and it's kind of funny that mystery, that mystique, and yet many people around the world will wear pants or trousers without underwear. Nobody asks them, <laughs> "What have you got under your pants?" You know, 